Hey everybody, Married Man here. Just got the Numax Model S FR2190 three and a half inch full head framing nailer. A pneumatic nailer that I've been wanting. One of the lower priced ones at Walmart online or on Amazon. We're gonna unbox it, take a look at it, and put it to its first use during this video. As part of the video, if there's an instruction manual inside, I'll put images from it towards the end of the video. But let's open it up and see what we got. Bam! There it is. First of all, reach inside and there it is. It's got a handle. It's got the magazine cape. Dust cover for the pneumatic attachment. Quick connect. You've got an exhaust port on top. It's a directional exhaust port, so if you're using it from the right hand side, you don't want that exhaust blowing in your face, you can adjust this by turning it easily so that the exhaust will go a different direction. The trigger mechanism is here. You've got the switch so that you can load the nails in here. Online it says it's about eight pounds. Look at this everybody. The tool actually came with a little package with oil and all the Allen wrenches you would need. My Craftsman tools that I bought didn't come with oil for first use. This will get you started, kind of pleased with that. Also, it is shipped in a single actuation mode, meaning you have to pull the trigger for each time you want to fire. But it comes with this other key, which makes it a contact actuation for rapid fire, and fire, and fire, and fire. So you can make contact and just go faster, 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 faster. Of course, that's for more experienced professionals or anyone comfortable. Remember, be safe. Let's see what this thing will do. First thing I'm going to do is add some oil. Take off your dust cover. It comes with this dust cover on, which is always a good idea to keep it on when not in use. It says oil daily right here. This is the oil that came with the package. I'm going to put a few drops in here. We will connect it to our quick connect toes. When connecting it, always keep the firing end away from you. All right. To load, we will pull that back. All I have right now are some 21 degree, two inch round shank nails, which I was gonna use on my fence. When you pull it back to load it, you pinch right here. There's a pinch on the back, and then it will release. Then we're ready for our first trial. For our first attempt, exhaust vent turned away from me. I'm holding the gun straight down. I make contact, push down on the spring, and then pull the trigger. Well, that definitely put a hole in the board. I don't see a nail. <laughs> oh, there it goes. That fired way too far in there. So I will cut down the air pressure on my compressor. And so after some adjustments on my air compressor, better but still too much pressure. There is an adjustment here that you can you can adjust depth, but the book says you should be able to adjust most of it with the air pressure on your machine, on your compressor. And that looks like a pretty good fit right there. I'm going to go try it on my fence. At this point, I'll include some images of the owner's manual. Just pause it if you need to read or take a snapshot of that owner's manual page. The manual includes safety rules, the features of the tool, adjusting the exhaust, loading the fasteners, unloading the fasteners, clearing jams, depth adjustments, and much more. When you buy the tool, the tool is completely assembled in the package. The magazine holds up to 55 fasteners, and it is compatible with generic brands of plastic collated 21 degree round head framing nails. Well, everybody, that's it. We've gone over our Numax 21 degree framing nailer. We've gone over what trigger is on it out of the box. It comes with another trigger for rapid fire. 
how you can change the trigger. We've talked about how to load it, how it fires. If you have seven or less nails in the framing nailer, it won't fire. That's the anti-firing mechanism, which protects the tool from dry firing. Air inlet is a quarter inch MPT. It uh, connects to a quick connect fitting and you're ready to go. I found that this is the same dimensions and everything as the Freeman PFR 2190, except it's prettier. It's got a nicer color. It might be a different material. It comes with a seven year warranty instead of the one year warranty that comes on the Numax. If that's important to you, if the aesthetics or the seven year warranty is important, the extra $30 might be worth your while. But for me and what I needed, this was perfect. I was able to put up all the boards on this fence quickly uh, in a matter of minutes instead of a matter of hours and I didn't have to sling a hammer. So I appreciate that. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and ring that bell so you get notifications of new videos. I've got new videos coming out, I'm trying to get new videos out every week or so. Um, and we're gonna have a variety of features such as I'm building a dog crate end table and all the processes that go into that, I'll be making videos on. And I hope that's of benefit to you. I hear my wife calling. I gotta go.